Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. This is Maraj Kamran in Explore Chemistry. Today we are going to study pOH and pOH scale. This video is the continuation of my previous video uh, which was about pH and pH scale. So first watch that video and then continue with this video. So let's start. What is pOH? pOH is actually the potential of hydroxide ion, OH negative ion. These ions are formed whenever any base or alkali is dissolved in water. It ionizes and gives produces hydroxide ion according to Arrhenius theory. So pOH is a measure of hydroxide ion concentration in any solution. It can be calculated by using the formula pOH is equals to minus log of OH negative or hydroxide ion concentration. These square brackets are representing concentration. It can also be calculated by another formula which is pH plus pOH is equals to 14. If you are given pH value, so you can easily calculate pOH value. Like this, pOH value will become equal to 14 minus pH. pOH also used to express the basicity of a solution. Calculating pOH. For example, a question is given to you. Hydroxide and concentration of a base is 0.001 m. What will be the pOH value of this base? First of all, you need to convert given concentration value into exponential value. So when this point will shift over here, it will become 1 into 10 raised to the power minus t because of the digits. Here we will use this formula to calculate this pOH value. Formula is pOH is equal to minus log of concentration of hydroxide ion. Let's put the value in this formula. It will become pOH is equal to minus log. In place of hydroxide ion, I have put the concentration of hydroxide ion which is 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 3. If I open this bracket, it will become minus log of 1 because minus log will multiply by 1 and then it will multiply by 10 raised to the power minus 3. So it will become minus log 10 raised to the power minus 3. Log 1 is always 0. So this term will become 0. We will get pOH is equal to minus log 10 to the power minus 3. Log of b power a will become a log b means power will come before log. So it will become minus c whenever it will come over here minus minus will become plus. So it will become plus 3 log 10 and log 10 value is always 1. So answer will become 3. So pOH value of this solution is 3. Let's do another numerical by using another formula. Question is pH of a base is 13. What will be the pOH value of this base? Here pH value is given not concentration. So you will use this formula pH plus pOH is equal to 14. pOH will become 14 minus pH and pH value is 13. So 14 minus 13 answer will be 1. Another simple very easy question if pOH value is given pOH of an acid is 10 you need to calculate pH of this acid now. So you will use the same formula pH plus pOH is equal to 14 and for calculating pH it will become pH is equal to 14 minus pOH and pOH is 10 so 14 minus 10 it will be 4 answer will be 4. So let's see it's very easy. Now I'll tell you what is pOH scale. It is a scale that is used to rank the basicity as well as acidity of any substance based on the amount of hydroxide ion. 
or hydroxide ion concentration. This is actually pOH scale. Over here you can see this is pOH scale. At the top it is pH scale. pH scale was starting from 0 till 14 but pOH scale is starting from 14 till 0. In descending order numbers are going. Neutral is 7 in both the scale. If you move in pH scale from 7 to 14, it will increase the acidity of solution. If you will move from 7 to 0 onward, it will increase the basicity of the solution. So in both the scale, pH is neutral, uh, pH 7 is neutral. And if pH value is from 14 to 8, it means the solution is acidic. Similarly, you can express basicity from pH value. If pH value is from 6 till 0, it means the solution is basic in nature. The pH scale is similar to pH scale. Like 7 is the indication of a neutral solution in both the scales. Here you can see at 7 is neutral in both the scales. But both the scales are opposite to each other. For example, pH less than 7 is acidic, but pH greater than 7 is acidic. Similarly, pH greater than 7 is considered as basic solution, but pOH less than 7 is considered as basic solution. So you can learn any one of the scales. Either you learn pH scale or pOH scale and keep this thing in your mind that both the scales are opposite to each other. You can easily calculate concentration of hydrogen and hydroxide ions through pH and pOH values. Because for hydrogen ions or by using hydrogen ions, we can calculate pH value. So if pH value is given, you can easily calculate hydrogen ions also. Similarly, for hydroxide ions, we can calculate pOH value. So if pOH values are given, we can calculate hydroxide ions. Means similarly, hydrogen ion is considered or is related to pH value and hydroxide ion is related to pOH value. Let's see how we can find concentration. If pH and pOH values are given in whole number, so you can easily find the concentration. For example, in this diagram you can see pH is 1, so concentration of hydrogen ion is exponent minus 1 because minus log of uh, exponent minus 1 answer will be uh, 1 always if you want to calculate you can calculate by simply taking out the log log of exponent minus 1 always answer will be 1 so here also you can see 7 pH means the hydrogen ion concentration is exponent minus 7 Similarly, log of 10 raised to the power minus 12 answer will be 12 always. So if pH values are given to you in whole numbers, you can tell the concentration of hydrogen ion. As well as if pOH values are given to you in whole numbers, you can again calculate the concentration of hydroxide ions. Because pOH is related to hydroxide ion concentration. In this diagram, you can see this. Now, I'll tell you how you can simply find the concentrations if pH or pOH values are given. So, this is the question. If pOH of a base is 13, what will be the hydroxide ion concentration? pOH is 13 here. So, you can simply tell hydroxide ion concentration will be 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 13. Exponent minus 13 will be the answer. And if pH of an acid is 2, this question is given to you. What will be the hydrogen ion concentration? So from pH value, you can easily 
calculate or simply tell the hydrogen ion concentration because pH is given in whole number which is 2. So hydrogen ion concentration will be 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 2. So it's very easy and simple to get tell hydrogen or hydroxide ion concentration from pH and pH values. Let's see some more examples. pH of a base is 10. What will be the hydrogen ion concentration? Now here pH value is given but hydrogen ion concentration is asked. Can you think what you will do? Because from pH you can calculate hydroxide ion concentration. So what you will do? You need to calculate hydrogen ion concentration. For that you need to calculate pH value first of all. Because hydrogen ion concentration can be only calculated by pH, not from pOH. So, convert this pOH value into pH by using this formula. pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So, pH will be 14 minus pOH, which is 14 minus 10. So, pH will be 4. Now, you got the pH value. Can you calculate or tell the hydrogen ion concentration now? So hydrogen ion concentration will be 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 4. You can tell pH also in this way. If hydroxide ion concentration is given to you in this question like it is written. If hydroxide ion concentration is 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 6. What will be the pH of the solution? Now see here pH is required but hydroxide ion concentration is given. From hydroxide ion concentration you can only calculate pOH not pH. So what will you do? This is hydroxide ion concentration given. So from this concentration you can tell pOH value because exponent minus 6 means pOH will be 6. Now you have pOH value in your hand. By using this formula, you can calculate pH very easily. So pH will be 14 minus pOH means 14 minus 6. The answer will be 8. So in this way, you can calculate either concentration or pH or pOH values. Concentration you can also tell in either it is not required but simply you can tell concentration of hydrogen ion. Because from pH you can tell hydrogen ion concentration. It will be exponent minus 8. Now here are some practice numericals for you. These are 5 numericals. Pause the screen and note down these numericals and try to solve. I'll read these numericals for you. You can simply listen these uh, questions. Number 1 is what is the pH? of an acid with 0.001 m hydrogen ion concentration. Number 2 is what is the pOH of a base with 0.002 m hydroxide ion concentration. Number 3 is what is the pH of an acid with 0.001 m hydroxide ion concentration. Number 4 is pH of a base is 12. Calculate its pOH. Number 5 is pOH of a base is 5. What is the hydroxide ion concentration? These are very simple numericals. If you find, you will find any uh, problem, you can ask me in comments. Hope you understood everything. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.